Happy Easter, everybody! My name is Andrew. And my name is Austin. And we have an extra awesome lesson planned for you today. Andrew, what did I tell you about using egg puns? Not to do them. But no, 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 no. Nobody likes them. They're embarrassing. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm just yoking with you. <laughs> oh. Your egg puns are excellent. Oh, I see what you did there. You had me extremely <laughs> convinced for a second. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that's enough. Got it. I'll try to keep the egg puns to a minimum. I'll try to. Exercise some self control! <laughs> Since it's Easter, we thought we'd put our Easter trivia knowledge to the test. That's right, and what's a better way to do that than with Easter eggs? Yes. 10 of these 12 Easter eggs are hard boiled, which means they're solid inside, but two are raw. As we go through the trivia, if one of us gets an answer wrong, we have to crack an egg on top of our own head. We have to do what? Oh man, the first person to crack a raw egg on their head is the loser. Makes sense? All right, well, we're gonna go get on some gear and then we'll meet you guys back here in the trivia lab. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for another riveting episode of Easter Trivia. I'm here with my co-host, Austin. Austin, what do we have going on today? Oh, I'm excited because we are going to do a few rounds of question and answer. And if we get question it wrong... Question and answer. We got to do a egg smash on our head. Wow. So, that is possibly a dangerous situation. Eggs known for salmonella. Ooh. We could walk home with some food poisoning here. We're putting our lives on the line for this entertainment, so you better like it. Well, let's start with question number one. All right, question number one. What color were the first Easter eggs? <sighs> A, red, B, green, C, blue, or D, yellow? <sighs> That's tough. That's tough. Well, the sky is blue. The sky is blue. That's what I've always said. But it's not always blue because at night it's dark. Think about mm. that. I'm going to go with A. The first Easter egg was red because red uh. is a cool color. And Christmas. Christmas is red. Like is a Christmas red. Color. Christmas is red and green. Mm. I'm going with red. I'm locked in here. A all the way. I'll go with red too. I'll go with red too. All right, here we go. Let's see if we got it right. Correct! Yes. It was red! Wow. Woo. Woo. No Woo. egg smashing this time. Look at that. Question two. I was scared. All right. How tall is the world's largest chocolate bunny? Largest. A, seven feet. Okay. B, 10 feet. <sighs> C, 12 and a half feet. Or D, 15 feet. See, the thing is, is I know this, and it's not any of those. Well, it's 18 million feet tall. I is, know that for a thing fact. Is, I'm going answer E, none of the above, 18 million feet. I think I just read this the other day, and it is 12.5. Here's the thing, is you're wrong. It's 18 million feet tall. I know it I for know, a I fact. I don't know, I don't know. That's it's I taller than the Empire State Building, taller than everything. It reaches to space. All right, let's see what the answer is. What? Yes. I told you. I just read it the other day. Pick an egg. So now I have to take one of these eggs and smash it on my head. Right on top. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm going with this one. This one is my gut. My gut right here says it. Here we go, ready, set, ah! Oh. Whew, hard boiled, safe. You got lucky on that, all right. My head kind of hurts from that. That was, ow. Question number three. All right. How many jelly beans are produced each year on Easter? A, 16 million. Yeah. B, 16 billion. Okay. C, 16 trillion. Okay. Or D, too many to count. All right. I'm going with too many to count. And hear me out. Yeah. Okay. 
I can't count to any of those numbers. So by definition, it has to be too many to count. Well, guess what? In that same article that I was reading about the chocolate bunny, yep, it had the answer. No. So you locked in yours already. It's A. No, million. it's not. All right, well, let's see. Here we go. Ha! You're wrong. Oh. But, oh yeah, I'm wrong too. Oh. But I, I thought that's what I read. Maybe you should learn to read, oh. all right? Just unbelievable. I dipped another purple one. I'm gonna go two for two purple. Uh. Here we go. All right, on August. three. One, two, three. Oh, Ooh, safe. That hurt though. Oh, Woo. wow. Man. Oh, that was a rush. Oh, my hands smell like eggs. Okay. Icky. Here we go. Question number four. Yep. Which one of these yep. is not a Peeps marshmallow flavor? All right. A. Yep. Pumpkin spice latte. That, no. B. Pancake syrup. Uh uh. C. Root beer float. No. Or D. Maple bacon. That's it, I'm going bacon. You can't have a bacon marshmallow because marshmallows are sweet and bacon is the opposite of sweet. What? What's that one again? Salty, that's it. No, you've been wrong. I've never been before. wrong in my life. You've been, you're- Name a time when I've been wrong. You've been more wrong than right. I've never been wrong I'm ever. With, I'm going with A. Oh it has word. to be A. It Your has to be A. funeral. All right, let's see. Boom! I'm right. Ha! 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 ha. I know Woo. it. I've been knowing it. Out here. Mm. All right. Man. Pick an egg. Okay. Oh. The choices are getting narrow. Nah, but, I'm uh, saying this one right here. That, no, you're, you're gonna try to trick me. No, I would never it. trick you. I'm I think I already person. touched this one. Man, I got places to be today. I don't want an egg in my head. Oh! oh. Whew. Saved again. All right, final question. Here we go, question number five. What is the world's record for the most Cadbury cream eggs eaten in one sitting? Yep. Is it A, yep. 27 eggs in six minutes, B, 35 eggs in six minutes, C, 43 eggs in six minutes, or D, 50 eggs in six minutes? I'm concentrating. Uh, I think I got it. Can you read the answers again? 27 yep, eggs. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. 27 eggs. 27 eggs. Well, in six minutes. I feel like my my brother can eat quite a lot. Yeah. He can probably eat like triple as me. So I'm sure that there's someone. Triple? Someone that could probably eat 50. I did watch a man chug baked beans out of a glass boot one time. That was pretty crazy. How many beans do you think were in there? A lot, a lot of beans. It was like a bunch of cans, and they put hot sauce in it. Yeah, people getting a lot. I'm yeah. one fifty. That I think twenty-seven safe. Yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, my word. Yes. This is the first time I've ever yes. been wrong in my entire life. Woo. I can't believe it. I'm going off clean, and you got to pick another egg. I'm gonna go the green one. I did two purples, and you know what color goes with purple? Green. green. All right. All right. Cause this one, this is a tricky one. Cause this is like pink and purple. I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. That's an untrustworthy. I don't egg. trust that one yeah, either. Yeah. See what I'm saying? <sighs> ah! Oh! Ah! I'm gonna die! <laughs> ah! It's got. <laughs> Oh. oh boy. This has been Easter Trivia. We'll see you next time. Bye! Can you believe that someone ate 50 Cadbury cream eggs in just six minutes? Man, I love me a good cream egg, but 50? That's way too much. Uh, no kidding. I, I was more blown away by the fact that they make 16 billion. Yeah. Easter jelly beans every year. I mean, yeah. who can eat that many jelly beans? I can eat maybe 10. Oh, hey man, it looks like you got a, a oh, stain on your shirt. Uh, this is my only shirt. What am I gonna do? Don't worry. Let, Let me, me get, get up. Ah! Here. Oh, what are you doing? Ah! Uh, that didn't work. I, I think I have another idea. 
Uh, your last idea was... Don't worry, this is spot rumor where it gets things off so ah, well. Ah! 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 Uh, that didn't work That just work spread it! Now uh, I'm wet, and I still have a stain on my shirt. I have another idea. All right, this is, this better be a vacuum. Ah! <laughs> oh. Now. Sorry, man, I really thought that last one would work. On the plus side, this is kind of a, a good visual of our story today. What? How is me in a stained, wet shirt a good visual for our story today? Well, the stain is kind of like sin. See, sin is when we do things that are the opposite of the way God wants us to live. Things like not telling the truth, taking something that's not ours, or disobeying our parents. All those are examples of sin. Wait a minute. So you're saying I'm a sinner because I got this big stain on my shirt. What? No, but technically, yes. Not because of your shirt though, because we're all sinners, me included. All of us have done wrong things. When we sin, it leaves a mark on us, kind of like a stain that we have no way of getting out of our own. Um, okay, I kind of see where you're going now, but are you sure there's no way to get rid of sin? I mean, I bet you we tried really long and hard. I could probably get this stain out of my shirt. Maybe if I like made some stinky tea, put the shirt in it, mixed it around. Like, isn't there a way we could get rid of sin if we just tried super hard? Unfortunately, no. Once sin is in our life, there's no way to get rid of it on our own. The worst part is God can't be with sin. So that means he can't be with us. Oh. Oh, that's terrible news! It was terrible news! But what? it's no longer terrible news because of Easter. See, God didn't want to be separate from us, so He sent His Son Jesus down to earth to die for our sin in our place. Then three days later, Jesus rose again, and because of that, we can be free from sin and have a new life with God. That's the reason we celebrate Easter. Wow, that's, that's amazing! Uh, but, you know, I still have some questions. I bet you do. Our Bible story will probably help explain a few. Let's go check it out together while we get you a new shirt. Sounds good. See you soon, friends. God's story. Jesus is alive. So part of God's story is about how Jesus is alive, and it goes like this. Jesus taught people what it means to be a part of God's kingdom and how we should love our enemies, put others above ourselves, and spend time with God. He did all kinds of amazing miracles like healing people and walking on water and forgiving our sins. Jesus was the long-awaited rescuer that God's family had been waiting for. But some people didn't like what Jesus was doing. They didn't believe he was the son of God, so they made a plan to stop him. They arrested Jesus, put him on trial, and treated him like a criminal. Even though he had never done anything wrong, soldiers beat him and made fun of the idea that he was a king. They put a crown of thorns on his head and nailed him to a cross. Jesus was on the cross as people watched and waited until finally, Jesus said, Father, I place my life into your hands. There was an earthquake. The sky went dark, even though it was the middle of the day. And at that moment, Jesus died. Jesus' followers were brokenhearted. How could this happen? How could their long-awaited rescuer be gone? Some women who knew Jesus, like Mary Magdalene and Mary, Jesus' mom, were there when he died and helped a man named Joseph of Arimathea wrap Jesus in clean linen cloth and place him in a new tomb that was cut out of a rock. A big stone was rolled in front of the entrance so no one could get in or out. A few days later, some of the women went to visit the tomb, but when they got there, the stone had been moved and Jesus was gone. An angel from God was there and said, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said he would. The women couldn't believe it. Was Jesus really alive? 
Then Mary Magdalene turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. He asked her why she was crying, and she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you've put him and I will get him. And Jesus said to her, Mary. Then she suddenly recognized it was Jesus. She said, Rabbi, which means teacher. Then the other women saw Jesus, and Jesus said, Greetings. The women were filled with so much joy that they hugged Jesus and worshipped him right on the spot. Jesus told them not to be afraid and to go tell the disciples that he was alive. When the women told the disciples what had happened, they didn't believe it, so Peter and John ran to the tomb as fast as they could. They went inside and saw some of the clothes Jesus had been buried in, but no Jesus, the tomb was empty. Later, Peter and John and the rest of the disciples were in a locked room when Jesus appeared. He showed them his scars to convince them that he really was alive. At first, they were afraid, but once they realized that he was real, they were overjoyed. He also appeared to some of them again when they were fishing on the Sea of Galilee, and he even ate with them. And later, Jesus appeared to over 500 people. Jesus told the disciples he would leave soon, but he also said he would send the Holy Spirit to be with them and help them, and that one day he will come back and make everything new. Then Jesus was taken up to heaven. This was God's plan all along. Jesus died on the cross and then proved he really is the Son of God by coming back to life. And he's still alive today. Now, if we choose to follow Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things we do because Jesus already took our punishment. And no matter what we do or where we go, Jesus will always be with us. And that's the story of how Jesus is alive. What an incredible story. And it's not a new story. It's one that God's been writing since the beginning of time. The Bible says in John 1, 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. God existed before anything and everything, and He had no beginning, and He has no end. Genesis 1 in the Bible tells us how God created the world and everything in it. After each of his creations, God said that it was good, but after God made his final creation people, God said that it was very good. Things were perfect until one day mankind decided to do things that was their own way instead of God's way. This is called sin. And in Isaiah, in the Bible, it says, your sins have separated you from God. You see? God is perfect, and He cannot be with sin, which means He can no longer be with us. But God had a plan. Jesus. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that He sent His one and only Son into the world that whoever believes in Him may have eternal life. And it says in Romans 5.8, But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus stood in the gap and took the punishment for our sins, which was death. Then three days later, he rose again, defeating sin and death for good and restoring our relationship with God. Because of Jesus, now we have a direct access to God and we can live for eternity with him. That's why we celebrate Easter. The story of Easter is the most important story in the whole Bible. If it weren't for Jesus, we would be separate from God forever with no hope of forgiveness. But because of his life, death, and resurrection, we can be washed clean and live a new life in Christ. If you've never made the choice to do that, to follow Jesus, we want to give you a chance today. All it takes to begin a life with Jesus is simply ask. I'm going to lead us in a short prayer, and you can just repeat after me, either out loud or in your heart. So, let's pray together. Dear God, 
I believe that you are who you said you are. That you sent your son Jesus down to earth and that you lived a perfect life, died on a cross, and rose again. Jesus, I've made mistakes. I've sinned. And I need forgiveness for them. I ask for that forgiveness. I want to make you the most important thing in my life. I want to follow you. And here I pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, we're so excited for you. We believe that following Jesus is the best decision you could ever make. And we want to encourage you not to just leave it there. Tell someone about it. Maybe a parent, a teacher, or send us an email here at the church. Or come visit us in person. We'd love to celebrate with you and support you in this decision. Thanks for hanging out with us today, friends. We had an awesome time with you and hope the sacrifice and love of Jesus really sink in your hearts today and this coming year. And we'd love to meet you sometime here in person. So why not check out hopecity.ca slash kids for info on our Sunday morning and midweek programming at all three of our Hope City campuses. All right, have a good one and a happy Easter. Bye. Bye. Andrew. Those puns, what did I tell you? I just, one more? No, it's enough. Oh.